friends, subscribers, and internet strangers. If I got a treat for you, I'm gonna break out some taste of vision and some smell of vision so you can understand where I'm at. Welcome to Legendary Dreamland. This is the Huntsville location. I'm out doing retail arbitrage and decided, you know what? That car was on fire, life is short. Let's go eat some good ribs. So, hey, let's, I'll, I'll take some pictures, I'll show you the menu. Let's uh, Dreamland, baby. All right, just to give you a little history, um, Dreamland Barbecue. When I graduated from Alabama, I ran a McDonald's up on Interstate 20. It was right in front of the turn for Dreamland. So I spent a lot of time sitting right in front of Dreamland. Um, old man John, he's the pitcher of the face of the franchise. He started Dreamland in 58. That was the same year Bear Bryant started coaching for all you Alabama history buffs with Alabama football. All right, we got Alabama playing softball. There's the Cooks. Bunch of license plates, UA Chargers. Name a jersey. Go big. Go big, Joe. All right, so they started out in Tuscaloosa in 58. There are now two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Looks like nine restaurants. They are all over the state of Alabama. From from There's two, one in Northport, which is right beside Tuscaloosa. The original location, there's two in Birmingham, one in Huntsville, one in Montgomery. There's one in Mobile. I've got the I've got the thing pulled up behind me. Sorry, the map pulled up. One in Tallahassee and two in Atlanta. So actually ten locations. So they started making barbecue on their own. It's in this little bitty building. They're still there. That is the original one in in, in Tuscaloosa. Wonderful, wonderful place. Um, my friends got me when I I moved to Tuscaloosa in '86. And you know, I went, but the one of the few like, first place I went to was Dreamland with new friends, and uh, old man John was still around. And they, uh, they're like, you know, hey, Zilky, ask them, ask them what size they got. They knew the answer to that was, uh, we got white bread, we got chips, <laughs> that's the sides. Uh, basically, we're napkins on the tables. Uh, you got a slab of ribs or half a slab, and you can get golden flake chips, which were are huge in Alabama. Um, they've been sponsors of the Tide for a long time with Bear Bryant and and in White Bread. Legendary sauce. You can buy it in certain locations in Walmart and other stores or in the area, but that's the only place you can get this stuff unless you go to one of the restaurants. Um, so this is my adventures in. I just wanted to show you just some sights and sounds of it and because I didn't talk about it. Um, <laughs> I was kind of hungry and then when I left I was kind of full. So I might have to put another battery in the camera. The bar over there. Pretty awesome. Alabama soft bar. One of the better teams in the nation. You know you're in a good place when they just put napkins on <laughs> Just roll a napkin on the table. Some sauce, some, some white bread, and some sweet tea. You're ready to go, right? I ordered uh, a rib plate and fries. All right, after after lunch so wow i was full i waddled to the van it was it was incredible it was as good as i remember that's the third time i've eaten there since i've been back i need to eat there more often uh jacob and i've been there a couple times man the ribs are outstanding it's just weird whenever you eat a side order that you know in the original wasn't there i had fries you can see it in the picture so that's kind of strange but what the question i have for you guys is is where is the best barbecue you've ever eaten um, Dreamland's probably tied for first. There's another, there's an, in Northport, the little town beside Tuscaloosa, there is a Archibald's Ribs. 1A, 1B, depending on what day of the week it is with, uh, with Dreamland. Both of them are exceptionally good. It's a little, I think there's like four tables in it. It's in a side of a lumber mill. And, oh my, it was on the side of town we lived in when we were there. So we ate that a lot. And, uh, so we, that, that became our favorite while we were there just because of the proximity um dreamland has still not opened over there and so you it was it was much harder to go across town uh around the river to get to get to dreamland when archibalds was on the way so let me know in the comments what your favorite uh barbecue is where it is why is it because you had it in college is it something sentimental you know something that johnny and i've eaten and uh 
it brings back a lot of good memories of our time at Tesla. So we were there for like 15 or 16 years. So let me know. And I just look forward to reading your comments. Um, it's a little bit different video, but appreciate each and every one of you watching. Just try to show you life as a reseller, what I do, where I go, places I see. Interesting, interesting stuff. Hey, like, comment, subscribe, and share this one because everybody needs to hear about Dreamland. Most of the time, most people have heard about it if you watch college football because the announcers always go to Dreamland. Oh, hanger -ons wouldn't even have a chance. And of course, they always say Roll Tide. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah.